Hello, it's Rob Potash with CSMI, and in this episode of HUMAC Norm Service and Support, we're going to show you how to install the HUMAC software with the HUMAC drivers for the HUMAC 64-bit interface. Installing the HUMAC 2015 software. Start with the HUMAC 2015 software instructions. Document number 300904. If you don't have this document, you can get it from CSMI. Before you begin installing the HUMAC software, the first thing you need to do is check the clock on your computer. Once the HUMAC software is installed, there's a 45-day trial that you don't need an activation and can run our software, but you need to make sure the date is set correctly on your computer. Also, while installing the HUMAC software, do not have the HUMAC computer connected to the HUMAC norm. So the USB cable should be unplugged from the computer while we work through this installation process. And once we get to the point where we need to attach the USB cable to the computer from the HUMAC, we will let you know. The HUMAC software comes on a CD or it comes on a USB key. What you want to do is put the USB key or the CD in your computer and it may auto start. If it doesn't, just go to your CD or USB, open it, and look for the HUMAC program and double click to start the HUMAC 2015.exe file. This will take some time to launch. It may be a few minutes. At the bottom of the screen, I see Install Shield. There it is. Welcome to HUMAC Install Shield Wizard for HUMAC 2015. Select Next. Licensing Agreement. I accept the terms of the license agreement. Select Next. User Name and Organization. That pick is picked up from Windows. Select Next. Select Next. Anyone who uses this computer, so all users. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Yes. Select Finish. HUMAC icon appears in the top left corner. Once the HUMAC software is installed, we need to install the HUMAC drivers. Turn on the HUMAC norm. Take the USB cable from the HUMAC 64-bit interface and plug it into the side of your computer. Then you'll go to the Device Manager and look for the HUMAC drivers. It's typically found under Other Devices and you'll see the yellow showing that the drivers haven't been fully installed. So we're going to click on the first one, right-click, select Update Driver, select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then based on if you have a CD or USB key, you're going to look for the Drivers 2 folder, which is here, and then select Next. This probably won't install, and it did not. So we have a hashtag error that we have to deal with. To get by the hashtag error, what we need to do is disable the driver signature enforcement. So first we need to restart the computer. So following the instructions, if we hold down the shift key, we press start, power, restart, restart anyway. Okay, and then what we're going to want to do is select Reset your computer or see advanced options. That's troubleshoot. Okay, then we'll select advanced options and then we will pick startup settings. And what we're going to want to do once it restarts is select, it's number seven, disable driver signature enforcement. So I'm going to restart. I'm going to select number seven, disable driver signature enforcement. Once your computer restarts, you want to go back to the device manager. You're going to look for the HUMAC under other devices. You're going to right click on the first one. You're going to select update driver. 
browse my computer. If it's not pointed to, point it to the Drivers 2 folder by using the Browse command. Select Next. Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software. Select Install this driver software anyway. Close. Then you need to do the second one, which is under other devices up here. Update driver, browse my computer and select next, close. And now you'll see the HUMAC ports have moved from other devices down to the universal serial port controllers and there are no uh, yellow markers, which means we're good to go. The last step is 7.2 on the instructions for 64-bit windows. What you're going to do is go to the command prompt. So I'll type in command prompt. I'm going to right click on my command prompt. I'm going to select run as admin. I'm going to click on this field. I need to change my directory. So I'm going to go to cd backslash. It's going to be windows backslash sys woo 64 enter and then i'm going to type in reg reg humac h-u-m-a-c 64 and press enter what i should see is the word successful once i do i'm going to type in exit next you're going to need to make sure the dotnet framework 3.5 is installed on your system click on the start menu and navigate to settings from here, search for Features and click on the Turn Windows Features On or Off option that pops up. Select the checkbox next to .NET Framework 3.5. Click OK. Then select the option to let Windows Update download the files. This will take about three minutes to install. When complete, close out of the window. And now I should be able to launch the HUMAC program. So I'll double click on my HUMAC icon says, if you are connected to a HUMAC system, select File Preferences to set the interface. I select OK. File Preferences. And it says, you must use the CSMI Diagnostics program to set the servo amplifier. So the HUMAC doesn't know which servo amplifier is in this machine because the HUMAC is compatible with three different servo amplifiers. So we're going to click OK here. We're going to click OK again. We're going to exit the HUMAC program, File, Exit. We're going to start the CSMI Diagnostic 64 by click, selecting Start, HUMAC, Diagnostics 64, we're going to enter the password, which is CSMIDIAG, CSMI DIAG. Select Proceed with Caution. The HUMAC is going to read the interface and read the servo amplifier. And once it's confirmed, this red line, which says Initializing HUMAC Interface Board, will turn green. HUMAC interface board ready. Select exit. And now I'm going to double click on my HUMAC icon. The system has not been calibrated, so we'd want to run the calibration routine, which is utilities calibration. Select OK. The power on self test. It's important during the power on self test that you do not have any adapters in the input arm. What's also important on the power on self test is that the input arm is at the six o'clock position as it's shown on the screen. The red tick is above the little gap. So we set our input arm perpendicular at six o'clock and then we press start. The OK button goes active. We select it. If we haven't, we need to register our HUMAC program. So you would fill out the serial number, 
your name, your clinic name, address, city, state, country, and so on and so forth. Once this is filled out, you'll press print and that'll print a document that you want to send to CSMI for your activation. Select cancel to get by this. And now if I move the arm, notice in the top right corner, the numbers are changing and the red line is the input arm moving. So your Humac system is ready to go. You can expand the screen and begin using the program.